I've been trying to get Clipper set up on a x86 PC, aka a normal computer. Normally, in the 3D printing community, you would do this with the Raspberry Pi, but those are extremely hard to find in stock unless you're willing to pay scalped prices, which a lot of people aren't, like me. I have a singular Raspberry Pi, but I need to use that for something else, so I've been exploring Clipper on x86. I followed this video, which got me most of the way there, but I ran into an issue, namely, no MCU found. What the hell am I talking about? When you run the Kaya script, again, I'm assuming you've watched that video, that gets you most of the way there, I'm not gonna repeat the steps listed there, but once you run the Kaya script, you should be able to go into advanced. This is after you would have flashed your printer already, but anyway, advanced, and I'm going to type in five for get MCU ID. And what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to, once you have everything connected, Printer's on, it's flashed. Once you hit enter, it's supposed to give you, well, USB. It's supposed to give you the MCU ID that you need for your printer.cfg, but I kept getting this error. No MCU found. I was going crazy. I looked everywhere. There were bunches of posts with similar-ish issues, but I couldn't quite find it. I thought it was a USB port, thought it was a USB cable, tried everything, couldn't get it to find, uh, I couldn't get it to work until I found a singular post and this is exactly what I needed. I'll link this down in the description below, but this post by an issue, uh, somebody having a pretty similar issue and this response from Sinios <laughs> gave me exactly what I needed. So follow these steps if you are in a similar issue or in a similar situation and I think that will get you set as well because as soon as I did that, I was able to get my MCU ID using that same Kai script. It picked it up immediately. I got the ID, put it in my printer.cfg, and I was connected and printing finally. The other small things, yes, you can SSH, but sometimes it's nice to have a GUI. So if you wanna set up a VNC connection, you can follow this post that gets you a VNC server installed, and it will also set it up so that you can automatically have it launch when you boot up your PC. That way you don't have to worry about initiating it yourself. So follow these steps, they worked great for me. That way you can VNC, that's what I'm doing right now. So you don't have to have a display connected. Assuming you're on a desktop. If you're on a laptop, I guess it makes less sense because you already have a screen there. But this is super duper handy. And lastly, I would go into the power manager and make sure that it is not set to sleep uh, under any circumstances. So go through the settings, make sure that nothing is going to interrupt you. And the lastly, which I think he, he might've mentioned in the original video, make sure that your firewall, while enabled, is allowing incoming connections. That was an issue with me. Moon cell or Moonraker wasn't loading, but now it is, so we're all good. Anyway, hopefully that helps somebody out there because I was losing my mind trying to figure this out. So. Super thanks to Sinios, that user totally saved my day and hopefully I'm helping it save somebody else's. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching. See ya.